hi everyone welcome to our new video uh today we're in the city of alexandra town of alexandra township here and uh, we're going to show you the huawei b15 so this is what they call the lte modem it's huawei b15 so we brought it here to show you and also to tell you the features which it has this modem is very very fast uh you can see it's a 4g modem you can see how it looks like it's very beautiful it has been around for many many years and uh, when they come in I bought one from Telcom though now I'm using 5G but anyway I also still see these modems are a bit relevant because most people now are getting used to them they are very fast most people used to complain saying that uh, they take a lot of data no they didn't understand that the modem is very fast so if you in a, a, a good place you're gonna find that this modem is uh, running more than maybe 40 megs per, per second even it can go beyond that but now what i'm trying to say it's not eating the the, the the data what it does like it's a little bit faster than what you know so now the features here uh you can see when you see the lights uh like uh let me say let me get you somewhere here uh so the lights you see when you see this this light it, it's gonna indicate what they call uh your what your when the power is on so this one it's gonna show when you have internet access if you see this is red just know that you don't have any internet access you have problem with your internet access it could be that maybe you don't have data or you don't have network coverage this one is gonna show when your wi-fi is on this one is gonna show when you have what they call uh the uh any uh what LAN cable when it's in it's gonna display here but don't worry about this if you don't have a LAN cable and you don't put in a LAN cable it's fine are uh, these the bars gonna show you how the strength of the uh, of the what of the of the network one bar two bar three bar so if you see it here just know you have a very powerful signal or network so now here you can see the WPS WP let me show you WPS uh, this button most people they don't know how it works how does it work when you buy uh, what they call a Wi-Fi extender I did a video on a Wi-Fi extender uh, so to connect your extender with your uh, modem wirelessly you have to click this button so when you click this button and also you click the same button on your wife why what Wi-Fi extender or Wi-Fi repeater they're gonna sync to each other so the extender is gonna copy all the information the username and password uh, from this modem to 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 the extender so when you take the extender away from the modem so you it's gonna give more uh more what more 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 strength to where you're going to connect to connect your what it's gonna be like it's using the same modem to connect to you gonna be using like the same modem to connect to the what to to the internet but because of the distance the modem can be here and the extender can be maybe uh let me say 50 meters away something like that so that would help you much to have more signal so another button here uh it's for it should show power this is when you switch on after putting it in power you switch on this or you want to switch it off you click here so this one is for as i did explain to you so this is the face i've explained how it works here so we go to the back here at the back there is a uh, two what areas antennas so these antennas sometimes you can use them sometimes you might not use them because this modem they build it in a such a way that it has what they call inbuilt it has inbuilt mo what uh, antennas whereby even if these are off the modems still gonna work but if you need more strength you can connect the modem to these uh, what to these uh, antennas then what you do is you 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 do what you go to your setup and then you log in and also connect them so now what happens when you connect them so it's gonna give it more strength so after that then we're gonna go to your holes the first hole here the first hole here the small hole in case you want to reset your modem maybe you think somebody's using your your whatsapp your your what your internet so what you do you put in a something like a toothpick in that hole you can see this small hole you put in the toothpick and then you say reset so when you reset it simply means it's gonna reset the power uh, 
it's gonna reset your internet to the default so when you go back to the default it simply means you're gonna do what you're gonna reset your username and password to what you need because maybe the old one people are using it so you want to reset everything sometimes also when you face uh, challenges whereby the modem is not fast anymore things like that so you can also reset when you do reset it's gonna help you also to to improve your signal and uh, yeah so that's what that's the reason why they put a reset button it's gonna take everything back to the default maybe there's something you don't understand which happened to your modem so when you reset everything's gonna go back to to normal which was gonna be the way the modem came like the setup from the company so uh what's gonna happen what else we're gonna talk about is the second hall is simple this is where you put the adapter which gonna give power to the modem so here this hall is much important so if there is no power here uh you can never see your modem on so the another hall this is the LAN cable then what i say once there's a cable here one cable here that's where you're gonna see this light this light works can be on only if there, there's what there's a, a LAN cable here so it has it simply means you can connect four computers here uh you see it has four holes you can connect four computers by wire without using a maybe a wi-fi in case you have pcs which don't have wi-fi uh what adapters so you can connect them by wire straight so another modem here another thing here this is a usb this way usb it simply means in case you have maybe another 4g which has data in or whatever you don't want to take out the sim card you can put it here it can supply to this modem in internet so that you can use it you can use a 3g dongle you put it in here it's going to supply internet to this modem so another thing here is the telecom line or tail line this is the telephone line uh you know those things are being fed away now most people they don't use those telecom what uh what uh, line uh cables so for telephone so here that's where the telephone cable goes on the last hall okay one of the thing we have to know the b315 it takes a sim card so since it takes a sim card you open there you put in a normal sim card it's not a nano it's not even uh those small small sim cards you just put in the normal sim card in that modem so once you put it in uh you can be able to use data there so guys i do really recommend to buy this modem because it's not complicated we just put your sim card and if you don't know how to set up your wi-fi you're gonna do one trick put in your sim card switch on put the modem in power you don't know how your wi-fi works or whatever so what you do get a toothpick i don't know if i can get you a stick or oh, something you get something like that you i don't know uh you stick it in here uh, you press when the modem is on press press when you press the modem is gonna switch off itself when it comes back you just know that now i've got wi-fi back what you do you go to the back here uh when you go to the back here uh you take what they call the username and password here they put for you a default username and password here uh you can see uh let me see yeah that's the username and password for your modem so what you do you're gonna take it you use that password they that's we see wi-fi key you can see that wi-fi key which starts with uh R E J one what 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 that's what you use so also the name the wi-fi name is gonna show you also uh let me see the camera is losing something take it away uh -huh. take it back you can see it's a b315 so when you connect to wi-fi check your wi-fi you're gonna see a b315 huawei so the key is re whatever so yours is gonna be of course different but the username and password if you want to log in to wi-fi those are the username and password the first one which say ssid so the second one which say wi-fi key but now if you want to set up your wi-fi uh, to your specific name and password you use that what they call ip you go to your firefox or to your chrome where you put www don't put that you put that ip number which say 192.168.8.1 so it's gonna give you ask you for username and password the username is 
admin and the password is admin so when you in there then you can be able to do what to to do what to 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 log in so yeah guys yeah that's that's the that's the thing so when you log in then you're gonna set your wifi to the name you want to set it on so guys please don't forget to subscribe this is the end of our video and uh i hope this helps uh so we're going to we're gonna bring you a new another video so but now we did explain each and everything almost you wanted to know about the modem so um i think that's gonna help you guys so well uh this is a 4g modem and it's very fast it's a one of the lte modems which came now uh like in 20 something maybe 2014 somewhere there 2015 thanks for watching guys see you in the next video